Yeah. I like the chord progression. I don't know. I just normally I can't come up with anything, so. So hang in with Sarah Longfield at the Toman Gearhead University. And we're just going to talk guitar, talk about what's up with you. Like when you pick up a guitar, what's the first thing you play? I just don't know if I have a thing. Like to test it out? I don't test out anything. <laughs> <laughs> just recklessly right away. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> like I just have my guitar and then I just play it when I'm writing. I mean, what, so just writing. What's a, like a composition or a song that you like to play of yours? <laughs> just doing just like a exercise or is that one of your songs that's part of a song but I use it as an exercise because I f up all the time so what would you say uh, do you have like a practice routine or you just write is that your I only write yeah I don't practice I should practice <laughs> so how did you get good at tapping then um that was like out of necessity because I couldn't play normally <laughs> so I was like I can't do this and I want to be able to do it so I just started tapping because I couldn't do anything else well enough to get through the things I wanted to learn. What would you say your approach to songwriting is? Like, do you sit down to write or does it just hit you? Um, I usually sit down to write. It's not like an inspiration thing. I usually just force it. If I can't get something out, I won't let myself leave until I do. So it's just like eventually I get so exhausted and angry that like something happens. And yeah. then if you do that enough times, you can just kind of make it happen whenever you want. I see. Yeah. So how many songs have you written? Um, that oh like my God. people can listen to. Oh, that they can listen to? Yeah, probably thousands. That yeah, I was going to say, like, the graveyard is dark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like every day. No, um, I don't know. Probably, I think I've got like uh, maybe eight or nine albums of stuff. Some are EPs, wow. so I don't that's, know. That's Most awful. of it sucks. Don't check it out. <laughs> like, most You're of only going to hear say, to learn how to mix. <laughs> one person in the world say, don't listen to my music. Yeah, like, don't go finding it. <laughs> that's funny. So, what do you think? If you had to say what the best note on the guitar is, what would you choose? Oh, that's a great question. Um, yeah, something on this string, because okay. I just like the tension on that string and I think it sounds good. Sometimes the ones with the, whatever this is called, how it's like, I don't like that. Right. And you can hear that, I feel like. I don't even know why I think you can hear that, but I feel like you can. So this string. I think is my favorite sounding string. So anything on that string. How do you approach writing music? Is it by ear? Um, well, yeah, I don't know any theory, but I usually, like, I like to be writing all the whole song at once. So I don't just like write a guitar part. Like I'll write like a riff and then like a, the bass part for the riff and then the, the drums and like the vocals. So I write it in chunks, mm -hmm. the whole song in chunks. What advice would you give somebody who is trying to become a better songwriter? I just do it over and over and over and over again. And you'll find out what sucks because if you put it on the internet, people will tell you what sucks about <laughs> it and then you'll learn. <laughs> so. It's a sad truth. But, you know, I think if you're not, if you don't have people telling you you suck, then you're not doing it right. Yes, I agree with that. Because... Then they care. Yeah, then, then it's like, well, if they think I suck, then they must be listening to me all the time. So what, who's your favorite uh, guitar player that doesn't play anything like what you play? Ooh, um, that's such a tough call because I don't listen to guitar <laughs> players. <laughs> well, I mean like a, a guitar player in a band, I don't know. Yeah, um, ooh, that's so hard. Who just came into your mind right now? Nothing. <laughs> I'm thinking empty. about dinner. <laughs> So, I'm making Sarah record this at dinner. I, <laughs> it's actually the, the most cruel thing you can do <laughs> to a YouTube person who hasn't eaten all day. The guitar player. I don't like even know any guitar players. Everyone's like, yeah, do you listen to so... I'm like, no, like, I listen to like really bad electronic music and radio music. Like, yeah. I don't even think I can think of a guitar player. I'm sure one exists. I'm kind of the same way as you is yeah. where I, I don't really listen to music that much yeah. because I'm making it yeah. all the time and it's like I want to do anything else but music right now. It's like, have you checked out this? It's like, <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't. Please and I probably me. won't, but I'll yeah. tell you I will. <laughs> yeah. I challenge you to write something on the spot right now. A thing on the spot right now. That's the most horrible thing. This is just like uh, a is, lesson, on, is, or just like not even a lesson. This is like a video of punishment, like punishing Sarah Longfield for. 
<laughs> I'm not titling that. <laughs> People yeah. will get the wrong impression. <laughs> You're not wrong about that. <laughs> so um, Adam wants to do that too. He's like, we're going to write a thing. I'm like, you're wrong. Like, you're going to try to write a thing and I'm going to f*** it up. <laughs> God, what would I even do? How does somebody uh, get started with tapping? If you had to uh, give someone an advice if they wanted to tap like the stuff that you do. I would just, I, I guess what I did was I would try to learn things that weren't tapping by tapping them. And it made me mm -hmm. like approach it in a totally different way because it wasn't a typical like tapping lick. Because I had to learn how to do it like how someone who's picking it would do it. So I guess that's. Oh, that's, that's really cool. What would it, you don't have to play it, but what would be like an example? Um, well, I would learn like solos, like I would learn necrophages solos and I wasn't, I couldn't like pick them and play them fast enough with one hand. So I just like brought my other hand in there and then you learn like how to mute it to do certain things. So that like, if you're, if you're recording something and you're tapping it, sometimes you like can't even tell if it's like distorted because you learn how to play just like as if you had a pick. Okay. Say every guitar player has to drive past a billboard every day mm -hmm. for their entire life. What would you want that billboard to say? <laughs> That's such a hard question. I don't know. <laughs> Stop, quit now. No. <laughs> Sarah would just belittle everybody. <laughs> you suck. Troll everyone. Yeah. yeah. The things I think about daily. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Got it. What do you think, uh, where does tone come from? Ooh. Um, I, I think actually I'm, I'm going to be like, a dad and say your fingers now because I think it is I think it is your fingers like you can play through pretty much anything but if you can't get the right tone with your fingers it's gonna sound like ass and that's a weird thing to think about but yeah mm -hmm. I think that's that's what it is I agree last question how do I play guitar if you have to tell someone how to play guitar how do I play guitar in three words or less um do it it doesn't matter how you do it, just that you're doing it. You'll figure out how you, how you want to do it if you start doing it. <laughs> just do it. This video is sponsored by Nike. <laughs>